Welcome to another episode of Save My Assets, where we answer your questions to help keep your furniture in your home and out of the landfill. That's right. We're going to answer three questions from viewers just like yourself. And if you've done it in the past, thank you. Please do it again. And if you haven't, well, here's your chance. Yeah. And also today we're going to be announcing last week's contest winner. So stay tuned. We got a winner. Oh, yeah. Winner, winner, winner. winner chicken dinner. Exactly. Before we announce it, we need to do this and it's going to help us and you. If you would like to help our channel, sign up for the free browser extension, Honey. Honey is an awesome browser extension that saves you time and money by automatically searching for coupons on things that you buy every day. It works with every major browser and is easy to set up. Just sign in with your Google or Facebook account and that's it. To help our channel, use the link at the bottom of our description. Again, the link is at the bottom of our description. And thanks. All right, so now we're gonna announce last week's lucky winner, for the contest. That's right. So how much did the staples actually weigh? Good question. Well, here you go. Here's your proof. Yep. All right. right. There. there we go. 25 pounds. Now, the one who got this correct was Boomhauer 100. So congratulations, Boomhauer. You win $100 off your next foam order at ucprivatecourses.com. Pretty good. Not yeah. bad. That's a good, a good little chunk out of your... Uh, your purchase there. So exactly. I hope you enjoy that. But those who did participate, we didn't leave you out. We appreciate you doing it sincerely. So we're going to give you as well 10% off a foam order if you would like to use that within the next 45 days. Right. And that's the same timeline that Boomhauer 100 has. We'll be contacting all of you in the comment section below. So keep an eye out for that for the details of how to get your coupon code because we want it to be specifically for you and not just out there so anybody can get it. So Yeah, so we're not giving this to anybody. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going to have another you contest. Are. That's funny. That's now we're going to have another contest. I'm not give it to anybody. No, we are. <laughs> another contest. Yes. Sorry, it's my fault. <laughs> After his uh, joke session, we're going to have another contest at the end of this video yes. that is going to be about... And you're going to like that. So you, whoever wins that is going to get that for free, but you'll mm -hmm. see it at the end. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so let's get on to the next three questions. Okay, so our first question we got for today is by uh, Ryan. Mm -hmm. And he asked, what thickness batting do you use here, please? Mm -hmm. And it Simple looks like question. for the interior seat cushions, right? Because it's like not showing us what video. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah it is a very video. Okay. okay. Um, so the answer is one inch. Yeah. So it's the exact same thing that we said earlier in our last Save My Assets episode for the outdoor cushions. It's one inch and it's basically this right here. Mm -hmm. Now, the only thing is one inch batting or Daycron, you can use either word for it. Uh, poly batting, that's, mm -hmm. the, that's what it actually is. Daycron's like a name brand. It's really hard to find online. I've tried to find it for you guys beforehand. So it instead is. of just like searching the web for hours, I went ahead and put it in our store at ucprivatecourses.com from our supplier where we get it from. Right. So it'll be a big roll. That's the only thing that we can give you guys, unfortunately, but you'll definitely have Daycron no, and no it Daycron. will be at one inch. Because usually when you see Daycron online, it's like a half inch. Mm -hmm. It's not the best. You know what I use this for real quick? Yeah. I cut this up. We have a smooth shop floor. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this for years. I cut it, the broom about this length. Yeah. I pick up the staples, everything off the floor. It's like a, my own little uh, Swiffer. But <laughs> it uh, yeah, it works great. So if you buy this massive roll, you'll never have to buy Swiffers then, again. You no. Know, I mean, it's not wet unless you make it wet, but I don't know why. True. You that, anyhow, it works, it works great. I even, yeah, so I have another thing. I actually use an air cleaner. <laughs> I'm serious. It works great as an air cleaner, too. This is like Mad Max versions of uh, yeah. home cleaning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Everything's dusty, including my hair. <laughs> but it does work well. It does work well. So if you need that, go ahead and check it out. If you're just trying to do a seat cushion, if you want to buy the actual foam from us, we do pre-wrap it with Daycron, so you yeah. don't have to go through the hassle. I'll have that on there. But if you have your own foam and you just need a Daycron, check out ucprivatecourses.com or find it on the internet. Either one will work. Now, Daycron, real quick, can make your cushion cover, or not your cushion cover, make your, well, it makes your cushion cover look a little fuller. Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. But it just makes the cushion a little, a little crown, a little fuller looking. That's all it really does. It doesn't give you any support. It just no. gives you that nice, soft feel. So you're not feeling a flat piece of foam. That's not going to be appealing. And to that point, if you like the firmness of your cushion, but you don't like the look of it, you can rewrap the actual insert with fresh Daycron to give it the better look of it. 
because if the support and the firmness is fine for you, but it just looks a little sad, <laughs> yes, you can go ahead and rewrap this and it'll be perfectly fine. It'll look fuller. Yeah, yeah. it'll be nice. And it keeps the abrasion away from the foam. So, uh, and the cover that yeah. is, because it'll wear right through your fabric. The foam will. Yeah, and vice versa. So hopefully that helped, Ryan, and we're gonna move on to the next question. Okay. All right, so now the next question is from Clutch14U. But before we do that, you think I was kidding, right? See, look at that filter. Looks terrible. Proof look that at the he is insane. No, I'm not insane, I'm frugal. <laughs> look at it, it makes sense, right? It does. Don't have to go buy them for years to come. Uh-huh. So I just wanted to show you that. With a roll of Daycron, you have like a 50 year supply, so you'll be fine. You will. I ran in there to the furnace and pulled this out just for you. Yeah, it does That's work. pretty nasty. Nice. Definitely does work. We should get back to work, right? <laughs> I guess so. Now back to Clutch 14U. She asked, or he asked, what mm -hmm. density of foam would you use in a office chair? Love my chair, but the foam is shot. Pretty sure it was four inches thick, okay? Just not sure how dense of foam I need to replace it with. Now, people say dense. Density, again, is the quality of the foam, not really the compression of it. So as far as we understand, we're talking about compression here. I think you're right. How firm the foam you should get for a four inch uh, desk chair. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a great question. We both it discussed it. With that thickness and since it's gonna be a desk chair. All day long? All day long, we do 35 compression. We do firm. Yeah. Absolutely, 35. Yeah, we consider that to be like medium firm. If you want a really firm one, that'd be for like 45. Mm -hmm. But that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty firm. So. Yeah, yeah you, you might. Want to think that out. I don't know. <laughs> you might. You might. But we had another question too from another comment. So we're going to add a bonus one. We said three, yep. but it's really going to be four. Kind of the same. Kind of the same question. It's actually from Nancy Hench. And she says, does the density or compression matter based on the weight of the person sitting on it? Now, this is a great question. Not only does it depend on the weight of the person sitting on it, but also their preferences too. Yes, it does. So absolutely. someone who's like 100 pounds yeah. compared to someone who's 200 pounds, obviously the 200 pound person is going to put more weight onto the cushion. So it does make a difference. It really does. It really does. So they might consider 26, the 100 pound person, as a medium soft when mm -hmm. a 200 pound person sits on it and is like, wow, this, this thing's is just soft. really super soft. Right. So yeah. keep that in mind. Another thing is, is just preference and also the platform. And what I mean by preference is I had one client that ordered seven inch thick at 45 compression. That's really unusual. That's unusual. Very unusual. But they loved it. They absolutely loved it. So it's really, it's very firm, mm -hmm. but they love that. So if you want a really firm cushion, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's your preference, keep that in mind. 26 is still soft. 35 is still medium firm. And then firm is 45. Right. And not to make it complicated, but we want you to walk away with much as with as much information as you can get. Definitely. The thicker the foam, the firmer it's going to feel by nature. Hence why I said it's pretty unusual for seven inch at 45 compression. Right. That's pretty firm. Right. So yes, it does make a difference. Back to your, your question. Uh, the lighter the person is, uh, the probably maybe uh, the softer foam might feel better to them. Right. And one last thing, not to make your head spin, mm -hmm. but what does matter is the platform, as I mentioned before. The platform, if it's really springy and soft, mm -hmm. then you could go ahead and do maybe a little bit firmer foam than you would normally mm -hmm. because your your actual platform is going to be taking a lot of the weight and the brunt and mm -hmm. your, your cushions are not going to be moving that much. Um, if it's really firm. If it's really soft. Okay. That's what I was talking about. So if the platform is really soft mm -hmm. and your foam is medium firm, it, that'd probably be a good combo. But if your yes, platform is firm, then you might want to do a softer foam so you're not really hitting it really hard. I'm just trying to work the two ideas. You know, the foam, well, actually three ideas, the weight of the person. Right. And the uh, platform itself. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so check those three things. You do those, you can start to get a better idea. If you're gonna be sitting there all day, like with the office chair, I would go with firm because uh, it, it wants to hold up longer. Mm -hmm. uh, the density has a lot to do with that too. So we only sell the best and you should only go get the best. If you don't get it from us, fine. Go get it from somebody who sells you high density, the high first two numbers. Yeah, yeah. So okay. again, it's the three things, not only the thickness, it's the, the weight of the person and also the platform that play a role. So just keep that in mind next time when you order. Absolutely. All, All right. right. So hopefully you helped Nancy and Clutch 14U. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our contest. Yes, let's get going. Yes, and what our contest is, is what is this chair's name? 
What would you think this is called? All right, so we have one, which is A, French roller. Or B, the German needlepoint chair. Or C, the American bobbin chair. Or D, English billiards chair. Yeah. Which one is the right one? Now, go ahead and put your answers in the comments below, all right? And once when you do that, we're gonna go ahead and pick at random who won it. Now, what you're gonna win is a private courses video that we did of a Parsons chair slipcover. It sounds like similar to what we did a long time ago, but this is a lot different. Never seen this before. No, we did it on a vinyl chair, which is very difficult because you can't put pins in a vinyl chair. And it was a large print that we had to work around with a skirt. Turned out beautifully. But you, get, it. It have, you get to have it for free. Mm -hmm. uh, no strings attached. Of course. At all. And uh, we've never shown this to anybody. Right. So to win that, go ahead and put your answer A, B, C, or D in the comment section below. What's the correct name for that chair? All right. Get to it. Okay, so the third question is Bobby, and here yeah. is the question. She said, do you have one for down cushions? I have a three cushion overstuffed couch. Mine is getting old, flat, and the feathers are poking through occasionally. Can I add foam around it to make firmer and stop the poking? What type of foam? Also, I especially want to make the top of the cushions firmer as my dogs lay up there and couch is in the center of the room. So it's probably getting matted down. It's not yeah. looking so good anymore. It's a good question, Bobby. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to this. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be running through a lot of different ways of fixing this, uh, keeping your existing and just getting new as well. Yeah, exactly. Right. So what we have here is not a feather in foam, but a poly in foam, same principle. Yeah. Okay, you get your channels right here where the poly is, and you'd have your channels here where your feathers are. Feather, feather, feather. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'd open up the back of here like you can see, right. and you're going to get this poly foam out of the cover itself, out of what we call like maybe the duvet cover. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to pull this out, and if it happens to be distorted badly, what can you do? You can go ahead and take a steamer and revive it back to its original size. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not its original firmness. So you're still gonna have to replace it. Even if you like, you know, steam it up real nice, you're like, wow, this looks great. Just Put show it, it back, back in. in there. Yeah. It's still, yeah, it's still old. It's still degraded. It's still old. So yeah. go ahead and measure it exactly to what it is. Mm -hmm. So if it's 26 by 26, that's by five. The, yeah, by five. Then order 26 by 26 by five mm -hmm. um, and just replace it. The reason why we do that is because I don't know. <laughs> That's funny. Well, the reason why we do that is because this <laughs> adds the allowance, yeah. right? I'm kidding. Yeah, it adds the allowance there. But one thing I also wanted to emphasize is so you're still going to have to work with a compression. Yes. Okay. So do you want it to be firmer? So then you would probably go with a firm foam. Um, would you want it to be softer? Probably not because it's worn out. But if you want a soft, then you would just go with a 26. Right. Okay. Right. Or a 35, which is firm. Right. So right. You, you got all those different uh, compressions that you can choose from. Yep. And now the next step is how do you take care of the ticking or whatever mm -hmm. the fabric is? Because ticking is a certain type of fabric, but you could just have a tight weave fabric. Right. Holes in your feathers. So if you can find a ticking, that's great. Uh, right. Or you can do a substitute, which I think is called blackout. Uh, with his uh, window treatments yeah, yeah. and um, shades, okay? It keeps the sun out. And the reason why you want that, the tight weave is not going to let those quills of the feathers poke through. Now, what you're going to be doing, if for the actual feathers so that you don't keep poking out, mm -hmm. is making a cover that is exactly the same size as this cover here. Right. You do not want to make it smaller because this insert will not fill, it, fill out your main cover. Right, that's a very good point. So if it comes in too much, now your main cover is going to look a little loose. Make it identical to this size. So if this is 26 by 26, 26, do that. Right, and right? just fit it right over top of it. So you're not going to be getting rid of this cover because these channels are too hard to replicate yes. on your own and you're going to have feathers everywhere if you start trying to take this thing mm. apart. Yes, but you can, you can still, you see these little seams right here? I hope I can get that on the camera, okay? Yeah. This little opening here, the seam here. You can open that up to try to start accessing some of the, the feathers. You can try that underneath here, make sure I'm right there. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, it's right underneath there. So you can reach your hand up in there and shove more feathers in there. You can buy feathers relatively inexpensive and you can replenish each channel the best you can. Now the reason- A lot of work. It is a lot of work. The reason why he's mentioning this is because you said that your dog sits on there. So if he's leaving or she is leaving a little mm -hmm. indent 
inside your uh, cushion when it gets off, then you would probably want to fill it with more feathers so that indent is less noticeable. Yeah, it could be that you lost a lot of feathers because the original ticking or what have you is not holding back the feathers. Right. Or they're just matted down. Yeah. Or maybe the foam's that ruined in the center. So yeah. the new foam will bring it back up and you won't have that problem. Right. So again, you have your option of keeping your existing by doing what we just said or replacing it with new foam and getting rid of everything that's old about it. So the cover, this cover right here, and the actual foam core, just getting rid of that and replacing it with a new insert uh, that you can buy at our store at ucprivatecourses.com. And you can also buy the foam core for this at ucprivatecourses.com if you'd like. Bobby, before we go, you might say that is way too much work. I'm not gonna do this. What you could do then, if you just don't care about the feather issue and you don't want this couch to, to perform like this anymore, to keep you from throwing it uh, into the land for fill, then you can replace your cushions with all poly. You have to follow the directions in the video though, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. So you can just discard the whole insert, start new with just poly, no foam and feather issue, or no feather issue, you're just gonna have poly foam inserts. So you can do that as well. Yeah, so hopefully I answered your question. If you have anything specific about your problem mm -hmm. that you still need to an answer on, please leave it in the comment section below. We will read it and we will go ahead and get back to you on that. So we appreciate it very yeah. much. So listen, enter the contest. Yes, please. Okay. Everybody who saw this video, enter the contest. If you don't win, we still have a little bit of a surprise afterwards. So keep we that in mind. It. Go ahead and enter and you have nothing to lose. Nothing at all. So tell a friend, give us a thumbs up. Yep. We need you to subscribe if you're going to be a winner though. Uh -huh. And don't forget to check out Honey because it does help our channel so we can keep doing this for you guys. We appreciate it. Definitely. See you we'll next see time. See you next time.